if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this part, we'll talk about biodiversity patterns. What exactly is meant by this pattern or biodiversity pattern is that all over the world, the biodiversity or species diversity is not uniform. There are certain areas where more species are present that means it is more diverse and there are certain areas where less species are present. So we say it is less uh, diverse. So what are those factors, what are those conditions which decide the biodiversity pattern or the number of species in a particular area. So in this we will talk about one factor which is called latitudinal gradient. So according to this, where exactly a particular country or uh, um, an area located on the globe that decides the biodiversity. As we move away from equator or we can write as we move from equator to poles, the species diversity decreases. Uh, this means the areas, the countries which are lo located closer to the equator would have more number of uh, species and as we move towards the pole, the number of species would go on decreasing. We will take an example here, Colombia which is very close to equator has 1400 various species of birds. We are just comparing certain countries on the basis of the location. So this is closer to uh, equator. Then we come to New York which is 41 degree north and it has 105 species of birds. And then we talk about Greenland, which is 71 degree north and it has only 56 species of birds. So as we have countries closer to the equator, more number of species and as we go closer to the poles, the number of species go on decreasing. Tropical areas which are closer to the equator, they have more species diversity and temperate or polar regions or areas have less species diversity. Amazon is a tropical forest and this Amazon has richest diversity in the world. So what is so special about the tropical regions that in these areas, species diversity is more. You can take the example of countries from equator to pole. You can talk about tropical forests and temperate region areas. So you will find that the species diversity have a remarkable or a large difference. Amazon is one such example. It is a forest, a tropical forest. And we know it is called the lung of earth because there are so many plants 
and maximum oxygen production on the land is produced from here. So, this is a tropical forest. So, we want to know what is so special about this tropics where the species diversity is rich. So, what is so special about the tropical region? So, let us take few points. Number one, what is that reason which is responsible for speciation? Speciation is formation of new species. So, if new species are formed, that means in those areas more and more species would be there. Speciation is a function of time. This means that for formation of a particular species, it takes millions of years which are undisturbed. Species formation takes millions of years without much disturbance. Now, on this point, if we compare the tropics and the temperate regions, we find that the tropical regions pretty much have more or less same kind of conditions, not much difference. But in case of the temperate uh, areas, there are glaciations. So, suddenly there is some kind of a drastic change. So, these glaciations, temperature fluctuations, they are more in case of are temperate. So, tropics or tropical region has more stable condition as compared to the temperate. And that is why there are more species in the tropical regions as compared to temperate regions. The second thing, tropical regions or tropical forests have less environmental changes. And these changes are predictable. So, less environmental changes and which are predictable. Temperature fluctuations, there are seasons, but these seasons are not like extremes. Seasons are also predictable. So, you know what is going to happen after summer, you know what is going to happen after rainy season. So, it is predictable and the temperature range is limited. Temperature range is like moderate what is best suitable for speciation or species formation. Whereas, in case of the temperate region, the temperatures are extreme. It can go to like minus 50, minus 70. Whereas, in tropical region, it remains in that moderate band and it is predictable what is going to happen next. So, we know which season follows which season. Whereas, here it is all at random, most unpredictable environment is seen here. And that is why species diversity is less in case of temperate. And the third region for speciation to take place or for biodiversity to exist in a particular area, solar energy should be sufficient. So, in tropics or tropical areas, sufficient solar energy is available, which is not the case in case of temperate.
So if sufficient solar energy is available, there would be plants or autotrophs which would be able to use it, synthesize the organic matter. And the organisms which survive on those autotrophs, obviously their number is going to be more. So tropics have a richer diversity as compared to temperate. So there are three main reasons for this. One, it is a factor of time, new species formation. So if for millions of years there is um, an undisturbed condition that would favor speciation which is seen or which is available in tropics. Second is seasonal changes. So seasonal changes are there in both tropics as well as temperate. But in tropics, the seasonal changes, the temperature variation is not too much. It is in the moderate band. But in temperate, there are uh, drastic changes and extreme temperature conditions. And the third factor which favors speciation is solar energy. And these three things are easily available in tropical areas. And that is why in tropical areas species diversity is more or these areas are richer in species diversity. So we have taken the example of countries which are placed at different uh, locations and we have also compared the tropical and the temperate regions. So this is one factor which helps or which is responsible for different types of species uh, distribution. So pattern of a, a species diversity, one factor is the latitudinal gradient, where exactly on the globe that particular country or that particular area is located. Now in the next part, we will take up one more factor which decides the biodiversity pattern.